Hey coach, welcome back. I hope you've been enjoying the last couple of videos this week. We've been talking about camps. We, in the first video, we talked about promoting and when to start your promotion process. Yesterday, I talked about registration process. Today, I want to talk about something that is very, very important, okay? If you missed those first two videos, make sure and go watch that. And once you've done that, this is all gonna make sense. So today we want to talk about pricing and this is another common problem that I know coaches have when they try to create their camps. The average coach out there, this is what they do. And I know this because I used to do this is first, before they price anything out, they see, they go look online and they do some research and they see what their competitors have done in the past with their camps. They'll try to, copy and paste what their competitors have done, um, even with the marketing. There's a lot of coaches that have done that to me. Uh, they'll go to my website, they'll figure out uh, how much I charge, uh, what I'm doing in the camp, how long is it, where is it, what are my terms and conditions. I mean, I could go down the list of things uh, coaches have copied, but if you just copy someone else, then you're never going to have something that parents ultimately and kids want to come back to. You need to be original with your camps. That is number one. But with that being said, the pricing has to be your own. Your, your pricing should never compare to someone else. And a problem I know lots of coaches have is they'll see that, for example, I'll run camps for $50 and it's like an hour and a half camp. And they'll see that and they'll be like, oh, well, I have to do that. Uh, $50 for an hour and a half and that might not work for your market that price might be too low for your market that price might be way too high for your market you have to understand your market and who your ideal clients are for your camps and once you have that then you base your pricing according to that and your pricing all comes down to value when I started doing camps I never did camps where where parents would pay it was all for free because uh, I didn't know how to sell I didn't believe I should sell. I thought that was something that was bad. And once I started to realize, well, this is something that has real value, then I put a price tag behind it. And at that time at the beginning, I used to compare my pricing to others and I would try to undercut their pricing so parents would come train with me. But then I realized, well, if I do that, I have to get way more kids to come to my camps if I wanna make more money than my competitors. And then I had to get it, you know, go away with that mindset. I had to realize if I really want to have camps at a high level, my camps have to be set up where my pricing is, is for me. I'm not basing it off my competitors. It's all based around the value that I provide to the kids that show up to the camp. And what is, what is being offered to them at the camp and what is being offered to them outside of the camp. And once you can figure those things out, the price of your camps will go up, 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 and you're never gonna have to worry about your competition. And with your pricing, this is something that can all be set up just by using simple math. And here's a really good, uh, good way to think about this. Number one, I would figure out how many players do you want to be at your camps? So I'm talking about uh, maximum. How many players do you want there? Number two, what is your financial goal? A lot of coaches don't like talking about money, but when they don't talk about money, they're going to end up losing a lot of money um, at their camps because there's, there's no financial goal that they're trying to hit. If you know how many players you want there, then we can figure out what is the financial goal. And once you do that, you have the number that you need to be charging for each player. And if you watched the first couple of videos this week, I talked about promoting. I talked about the different ways of getting the message out and, and why you should be doing that now versus waiting a week before your, your camp. And then I talked about registration process. And now with this, with the pricing, this is something that has to be on point. And the only way to, like, to really know your pricing is you have to test it out. You have to see what works. You're not gonna know perfectly what's gonna happen the first time. You have to be willing to test it out a couple times and then you find a sweet spot for you that works. And then from there, you run that on autopilot. And this is what I teach coaches how to do. I teach them how to run weekly uh, camps, clinics, monthly camps and clinics. You can have a membership where parents are paying uh, $100 a month and they get to come to one or two camps every month. This is something you can do as a full-time business if you have it set up the right way. 
that's something I want to help you with. If you've watched the last couple of videos and you feel like this is something you want to talk to me about, reach out to me. Just uh, comment below this video. Make sure you reach out to me there and I'll get back to you and I'll schedule a phone call with you so, to see how I can help you. And uh, if you're brand new to this channel, really what we do here is very simple. I show coaches that are within sports how to start their own sports training business for private training, group training, camps and clinics. And if that's you, if you wanna learn how to do that, make sure and hit that subscribe button. I wanna help you out. I can't wait to talk to you, coach. I'll see you soon.